I'm Ashley, and I recently went on a three-week road trip through many of the western U.S. national parks with my friends Kira and Luke. We ate very well. Here are all of the delicious and energizing plant-based foods we ate on our trip. Starting out with breakfast. These breakfasts kept us full and energized for tiring and beautiful morning hikes. I pre-made a green smoothie, then froze it to double as an ice pack. It's our first breakfast in the Grand Canyon, and for breakfast I'm going to make some pancakes. And to make this easier, I put all of the wet ingredients in one container, and then all the dry ingredients in one container, and then I'm going to mix them up. Okay, so here we have Ashley's pancakes. I made this nut butter in my Vitamix. It's not caramel cookie crunch. It's a Baruca nut almond peanut butter. So we're just mothering our pancakes in this lovely nut butter. And then putting on this organic raspberry fruit spread from Trader Joe's. So just like a PB&J, but it's on a pancake. So some of that, a little bit of that over here. Maybe a little more. Mixing that in, and then to make it even more decadent, <laughs> we are going to have some of Ashley's garbanzo bean cookie dough for breakfast, but it's actually pretty healthy because it's garbanzo beans, which have a lot of protein and fiber, which are good to have before a long day of hiking. And there we have it. So this morning we have pre-made turmeric oats that I made. There's raisins, coconut shavings, medjool dates, pecans um, in here. And I think some other spices like cinnamon and obviously the turmeric. So I'll put a little bit more in there. Pretty color, so golden oats. And then we'll come over here. And because we have a big day of hiking today, like 10 miles into the Grand Canyon, I'm gonna add a little bit of this pea protein mix protein powder just like one scoop I think and that won't look as pretty <laughs> but I'm gonna like, mix that in to the best ability that I have. It doesn't always mix in well so you might have to like stir it around a bit or add some mooless milk like maybe I might add a little bit of this milkadamia milk to thin it out a little bit. So then you just mix it a bit to get it creamy. I have some Chobani vanilla oat milk yogurt and I'll put like a dollop of that onto my mix here and then I'm going to put a little bit of this homemade garbanzo bean cookie dough <laughs> even though it's breakfast it's pretty healthy so I'm going to put some of that on there and then we have some bananas of course we need some fruit so I'll put some bananas into my oatmeal. Maybe one more slice would be good. And then lastly, we have a little bit of this grain-free granola that I got at Grocery Outlet. And I'm just gonna sprinkle a tiny bit of granola on top. For breakfast this morning, I had some oatmeal with some dried fruit, cranberries, apples, mangoes, some coconut, and chocolate chips. For breakfast, I I have some oatmeal, and then I also. We also made some chili and some Indian masala for a very hearty breakfast. 
We made oatmeal most mornings. This one has granola, peanut butter, and strawberries. For breakfast this morning, I made a breakfast burrito using my leftovers of enchiladas from the restaurant last night. Then I cooked up a tofu scramble and, and topped it with some Miyoko's vegan cheese cheddar. Up next, it's lunchtime. These plant-based lunches fueled our adventures down canyons and through rivers. For lunch, I have a very gourmet lunch of a bean burrito <laughs> with just cold beans. And it's leftovers because I don't have a lot of time for lunch. I'm going to pre-make a sandwich for our hike later. On this slice of the bread, I put on this Kite Hill Garden Veggie Cream Cheese. And on this slice, I put on some vegan mayo. And I'm also going to put on some vegan cheese and some vegan sliced meat, sliced meat sort of thing for some protein. And then I have some lettuce I grew from seed from my garden. And another sandwich. Then I put my sandwiches into this reasonable silicone bag. After a nourishing lunch, it was on to climb to the top of Angel's Landing in Zion National Park. seed crackers at this beautiful location. We're hiking way down there. There's larp or tropicality snack. For snack time we have some happy trekking Trader Joe's trail mix. Almonds, cashews, pistachios, chocolate, cranberries, and cherries, and making us very happy while checking. Because at times, fierce boiling waters with encrusted pool can explode to heights of seven feet, acting like a geyser. It is believed, however, that no concern. After each long day of exploring, we came back to our camp to cook a satisfying vegan dinner. What did we have for dinner tonight? Taco soup. So the taco soup has veggie chorizo in it, black beans, pinto beans, corn, tomato sauce, tomato paste, yellow onion, garlic, and then we're going to top it with miyoko's vegan cheese. It's also got some nutritional yeast in it, salt and pepper. Nice. This is our meal tonight. Just some vegan in front of a motel. <laughs> Squatting, trying to cook these sausages. And we have some lovely vegan cheese <laughs> and lettuce wraps. Amuse bouche. Snap on the cheese. Hot dog in a bowl. This diet vegan mac and cheese was very yummy and we had it a few times. So for tonight's dinner, we have a pad thai that's a vegan. The noodles are a bit smashed up, but it looks really good. Yeah, it's good. Shona masala for dinner. So tonight for dinner, on our second to last night of camping, we're keeping it really simple with 
cans of chickpeas, then I mixed in some leftover rice from a Thai food restaurant last night. And then I added this saffron lemon grass basil sauce. That makes it pretty easy. And then I also sauteed some zucchini and onion that I will add to that along with some bell pepper. For dinner in the Grand Tetons, we have another scrumptious giant pot of soup. This will be a great way to get rid of our <laughs> tons of beans that we brought. Lots of beans. And we're eating alongside of some moose right over there. In the cold evenings, it was nice to warm up with some hot chocolate, golden milk, and fresh mint tea that I got from my garden. I'm gonna try a new s'mores combination. I have these vegan sunflower buttercups that I'm gonna put on the s'mores. Oh, s'more ready. I've got my perfect vegan marshmallow. I'm gonna put that onto the sunflower buttercup. Squish it down. It's good to go. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more.